Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Okay, uh, so we've just done uh, is Hillary uh, Clinton um, mentoring uh, Megan. So if you haven't seen that, have a look. Um, and somebody's name came up as uh, Steve Munchin. Munchin? Munchin. Yeah, munching, as in like you munch on your food or, yeah, different to mulching, isn't it? Different. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, munching. <laughs> I'm going to get this uh, word wrong, you know. <gasps> but, uh, munch King, that's what I keep uh, wanting to say, Munch King. <gasps> I think he's out uh, the Wizard of uh, Oz or something. Anyway, okay, so uh, Steve Munchkin then apparently paid for favours connected to Epstein. How does this all connect to the Clintons? So we're just going to start with those because there's a couple of questions in there. Uh, so did, uh, you know, uh, Steve Munchkin uh, uh, do favours for other people like Epstein? Well, I certainly don't think uh, he's... Uh, I am getting uh, people suffering. I'm getting bad timing uh, as well. So maybe there was an investigation or something, you know, uh, that has been uh, delayed, okay, uh, delayed. But it's certainly not over. And that's the kind of thing I'm getting a, a lot of uh, bad press here. So I, I do feel there's an element of uh, Miss, uh, Miss Doings, you know. Uh, I, I do. So I think... Uh, there are negative stories that have been in the press. Well, I don't see any of them being challenged, okay? Uh, I don't. I mean, if anything, this just looks bad, okay? This just looks uh, bad. Uh, on, uh, And you know how these uh, people can uh, persuade us, you know, uh, persuade us uh, about doing uh, favours. I don't know. I think the higher up you go... Uh, the more you get away uh, doing certain favours. I think the, the balance gets out of uh, shape. The judgment does as well. So they see the big things and they see the small things and make decisions based on, well, it's not a big deal, is it? It's no big deal. Rather than, is it right or wrong? What kind of, uh, you know, uh, professional person is this Steve uh, Munchkin? Munchin. I think he has got a, a lot of bad press, but do you know what? I'm kind of feeling like he's, uh, in, in some things, he's quite uh, moral uh, about it. Okay, so I do see that he does want to uh, be good in his job and his work. Uh, he's had lapses of uh, bad judgment, I suppose, but I'm not seeing, uh, you know, a real bad card here. Uh, I think he's like, uh, you know, he's settled into his role quite well. Uh, he's got a loving family. He's happy with his family uh, to put his family first. Uh, and, you know, yeah, after all that bad press, he's feeling like a, a lot more happier, uh, a lot more fulfilled um, and... He's putting his family first, so he's not going to make any more mistakes. He's not, well, yeah, that's how I feel, uh, you know, because he's putting his family first and you do dirty yeah, and your job, you think, God, if I lose my job, blah, blah, blah. So don't do anything <clears throat> to lose your job, to lose your seat, to lose uh, their faith in people. How do, uh, you know, others uh, see um, Steve? How do they see Steve? Yeah, then there is a, a bit of a player, but, you know, he's, he can come across as quite charming as well. And I think he thinks that, you know, that's part of the persona. Um, he's not intentionally uh, insincere, uh, but that's the way it comes about. So I think, uh, you know, Marova is a Jack the Lad, okay? So he's lightweight, he's not heavyweight, he's lightweight.
I think the um, the picture he portrayed of himself is not actually uh, correct uh, as well. So, you know, uh, this isn't a lying card, but it's like putting on an act uh, for everybody, okay? It's putting on a, a, an act or a persona. Has uh, Steve, uh, you know, had any dodgy dealings with uh, Hillary Clinton? Oh, here it comes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, plenty. Uh, it, th things like that could wreck his career. Uh, absolute, like, bad judgment all the way around. Just reckless with uh, his future. So I wonder if uh, stories of such have been leaked uh, as well. Yes, uh, it, it is. It's like... You know when you're so enthralled with somebody or you want somebody's uh, attention or time, okay, uh, then they, he puts uh, the status of it, uh, he put it uh, against uh, everything else. So even when his brain was probably saying, no, no, don't do that, don't do that, uh, don't say yes to that, uh, don't tell her that, uh, he couldn't help himself. He just couldn't help himself. He felt driven uh, to, to do it. But also as well, I think, you know, uh, he knows uh, Clinton's uh, skeletons as well. Not all of them, but enough. Enough for, for them to both be wrecked. What's uh, Steve's uh, relationship with Meghan Markle then? Is he relationship with Meghan Markle? Well, if he ever leaves, uh, you know, he does know that she could be around him somewhat, okay? So I'm getting uh, if he if he decides to, to leave. So maybe, uh, you know, uh, Megan's camp have been in touch uh, or, or putting feelers out uh, for for leaving, okay? So, yeah, so uh, about uh, the leaving, I also feel like uh, they could have met up in the last six months uh, as well. You know, I just get like a, a trip or a journey uh, and a boat, you know, somebody going on somebody's boat. What was the, you know, so uh, what was the last conversation Marco had with Munchkin, if one? Yeah, look, you know, you got the same uh, with uh, about uh, lies and deceit will be revealed uh, by others. So, you know, uh, is somebody threatening to so like expose lies, you know, to reveal lies? Oh, my God, this just gets more like a more like a, a thriller, uh, you know, speedboats. Having things over one of the ex uh, presidents, you know. I mean, it's all got the journeys uh, making of a uh, an an blackmail. It's got the making of a James Bond movie here. So the last conversation he had uh, was, you know, probably with uh, others as well, not just uh, not Megan herself, maybe, because I'm seeing uh, others uh, and I see like uh, them uh, telling uh, Mun Munchin. Uh, what they they believe. This can be a, a blackmail card. How does uh, how does Steve uh, feel about Meghan Markle? How does he feel about her? I mean, if you're being blackmailed, you know, uh, you're not going to be happy, are you? Uh, you're not. How does Steve feel uh, about Meghan Markle? Well, I think he believes that, you know, they've got something uh, on him uh, and that the uh, things that he's not seen, so he's in the, the dark here, okay? 
Uh, he's making Megan and her team are making him feel in the dark uh, about something as well that's not seen. So I don't think he has uh, sat down with Megan because that just won't be the done thing. Uh, I'm sure uh, Megan has uh, learned from other uh, Obamas, bloody Clintons that you know you just can't get your hands dirty yourself. Um, so he's not seen uh, Megan. But it does. He is interested to know what uh, exactly this is all about. Will he make way for Megan? I just feel somebody's trapped into a, a situation, you know. Uh, unable to, to move uh, forward. Will he make way for it? Well, he's unable to, okay? So maybe, you know, he's stuck where he is. He's stuck uh, where he is. So that's what I'm getting, restrictions. So I'm getting his trapped, you know, uh, between the devil uh, and the uh, deep blue sea. So I think he is unable to uh, move. I can't help but feel like a transcript uh, of a conversation uh, and that's how I feel, a transcript of a conversation. Well, uh, you know, so lastly then, let's have a look. Uh, is Steve uh, the holder of uh, lots of uh, damaging secrets? I think so. I think so. You've got the, uh, so sorry, yeah, you've got the uh, Ace of Wands reversed, Ten of Cups uh, upright, uh, Knight of Wands reversed, Judgment reversed. Uh, six of swords uh, up, seven up, eight up, uh, and the hermit uh, is uh, reversed, okay, which incidentally is nine. <laughs> so you got seven, no, you got six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think uh, uh, this uh, Steve has got a lot on people, especially where uh, corporate uh, profits are and stuff like that. So he knows he's like the accountant, you know, uh, uh, has uh, a lot of numbers in his head. I think he's effective, you know. I don't, I don't see this as uh, him. I feel him with people on his side, okay, uh, probably the ones that, you know, he knows uh, the most about. So I think he's very effective in that. Will Steve Munshin uh, continue uh, in politics? Will he continue in the role that he's got now for the foreseeable future? Yeah, and I think uh, he's going to run for something as well. So I know in different states in uh, America you can run uh, for something. So he might run for a uh, governor or, or something. I see that he's moving uh, forward. So if he's moving forward... What does Megan have to gain uh, from Steve moving forward? Because that's how they can do things as well. They don't just need to blackmail you to get out. Uh, they can, uh, you know, help you move up. Uh, what will be the benefit to Megan Markle uh, when this guy moves up and onwards? I don't like it. I don't like it. I can feel it. Yeah, she'll, uh, you know, she, 
Well, she definitely talks over here. You won't get a word in edgeways, you know, she'll put forward uh, and she sees it as a, a battle of uh, will, a battle of wills uh, to sort of like uh, going for it. She's going in for it, uh, going in for it. It'll be a sudden uh, quick announcement as well, like a last minute uh, change, a last minute change uh, and then she's in it, She, you know, she is. But whether we can cope with her own ego, uh, I just don't know because... Nobody believes a word this woman says. And if you want to know whether she gets in or she gets out or whatever, speed read me, speed read me. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, that's it from me. Thank you. And uh, I'll be back soon with another uh, speed read. Bye now. Bye-bye.